here and welcome back to another episode of Tech Touch. First up, here's a summary of the Google I.O. Developer Conference earlier this week. Google's updated version of its Android operating system has been unveiled with the codename L. It is not known at this moment what L stands for or whether Google is dropping the tradition of naming its Android versions after sweet and candy. The new OS boasts of a new material design interface to work across Chrome and Android and also makes it easier for users to switch from mobile to desktop. Other updated features include a rigid notification experience, an authentication system that is aware of your environment, new battery saving measures such as a battery historian that can provide in-depth information about battery use, which means it will be very useful for people like me, whose phone cannot even make through one single day without charging. Next up, after numerous leaks online, smartwatches such as LG's G-Watch, Samsung's Gear Live smartwatch and Motorola's 360 smartwatches were finally unveiled and are all running Google's Android Wear operating system. The Android Wear OS was designed for wearable devices in mind and allows you to keep track of your schedule, messages and social media notifications among other things on your wrist. Now, Samsung will start selling the Gear Live smartwatch through Google Play, Amazon and Best Play on July the 7th with pre-orders available beginning today from Google. The device will cost users $199 US dollars and will require an Android device running Android 4.3 or later to work. The LG G Watch similarly will be available for pre-order from Google Play later today in 12 countries but does not yet include Singapore, which will be in the second batch of countries the G Watch is rolling out to. Pricing details for it aren't available at this point in time, but if you are an absolute fan of smartwatches and cannot wait, you can always order online and have it shipped to Singapore. Google is also moving onto the big screen with their Android TV. A sophisticated search engine powered by voice is built into the Android TV system, allowing users to search for programs by actors or characters' names. Android TV also has full Google Cast support, which means it can perform the same functions as Google Chromecast devices, such as enabling you to stream video onto your television. Drivers who rely on mobile applications for driving directions can now look forward to Android Auto. This application runs on your mobile phone but is mirrored onto a touchscreen on a car's dashboard. Drivers can control it either using the touchscreen or using their voice. Moving on, Google Chrome Complete Extension function for Gmail will be rolled out very soon which means that all of us will probably need to proofread our emails very conscientiously before sending anything to anyone just in case the technology fails us. The Chrome Complete Extension makes use of Natural Language Processing NLP which will first analyse our Gmail account during startup in order to identify our typing patterns. So in future as we type our emails, the system will give us word suggestions which we can choose to accept. This Chrome Complete Extension function may be launched on Facebook, iOS and Android in the future as well. This week in product release, we bring to you Amazon's first smartphone, the Fire. It features a 4.7 inch HD LCD display with a 13 megapixel back camera. Fire tries to distinguish itself from other smartphones in the market with their dynamic perspective and Firefly technology. The dynamic perspective uses a custom design sensor system that will respond to how users hold and move the phone. For instance, landmarks on their map application will become 3D structures on the phone screen. Its Firefly feature when activated by the user aiming the phone at an object and holding the Firefly button is able to recognize a range of information from printed web, email addresses, contact lists, QR codes, barcodes, etc. etc. And on top of that, it will also tell you where to get them. However, Amazon's Fire smartphone will be made more readily available in the United States since it is powered exclusively by their telcos AT&T's 4G LTE network. So for those of us over here who want to get more of the phone, we probably still have to wait a little while. Facebook's new application Slingshot is now available for iPhone and Android around the world. Slingshot is a form of ephemeral instant messaging application that allows users to send photos or videos to selected friends who can only see them if they send an image back. After the photos and videos are viewed, they are deleted automatically. So in a sense, Slingshot is very similar to Snapchat where messages self-destruct upon being read. However, for Snapchat, friends do not need to send a photo back in order to read the messages you sent. At the moment, Slingshot works on phone numbers only and is not tied directly to your Facebook account. Lastly, remember on our first episode of Tech Touch, we covered the LG G3 smartphone? 
Now, the phone went on sale last Friday on all three tacos over here at different pricing with different plans. So we are here today to give you our take on which taco you should buy the G3 from. Now, we can't say for definite that one taco is the best due to the ever-changing deals and promotions. But as of right now, we can say that among the $38 to $40 plans, you should buy your G3 from N1 which is selling it for $448. Not only is it at least $50 cheaper than the competition, it also offers an extra 20 minutes of outgoing calls over its competitors and as a plus, provides you 1GB additional data if you are a recontracting customer. Among the $58 to $60 plans, Singtel's 3GB per month plan offers the G3 the cheapest at $248. But if you need an additional 1GB of data every month, Starhub's 4GB per month plan will be your best choice at $259. Note that this recommendation do not take into account the NSF and student promotions. So that's all we have for you this week at Tech Touch. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel for more awesome gadget and gaming news. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye!